Tonight's headlines. Murderer murdered by death. Greedy frack hooks increase price of burger. And city councilman gives his heartfelt permission. Yeah, I give her permission to go to the top of the Mackinac Bridge and do a three-time somersault. I give her permission to go to the roof of City Hall and do a double flip belly flop. And this is the Beaumont Bulletin. <laughs> News activated. <laughs> Hello all you people, I'm Kyle What's New. And yes, I was successfully hit by our news van and received the promotion of host, effectively replacing Jack Anderson. And boy, it has been a rough two months, I tell you what. It's one thing to get hit by a news van, but then to have the driver reverse it back over your body, but then put it back in drive and go over you again. Oh man, oh, really makes your internal organs bleed. <laughs> In hindsight, I probably could have sued the station to cover the medical expenses, but there's only so much you can do with a law degree, I guess, you know. But enough of my personal gripes and constant pain that I'm in now. I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad that you're here too. Let's get into the news. Automotive manufacturers will be voting to unionize, including Volkswagen in Tennessee and Mercedes in Alabama. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey called the idea of unionization, quote, this threat from Detroit. Coincidentally, this threat from Detroit is what Kay Ivey also calls anyone who lives in Detroit. A Grubhub customer was in for a fun surprise when he was delivered food. Instead of getting his correct drink order, he was served the Grubhub driver's personal piss cup that he was using in his car. Despite drinking pee pee, Grubhub sales are now up 200%. Last week was a historic day for local politics as the former host of the Beaumont Bolton, Jack Anderson, was elected mayor of East Lansing with the lowest approval rating in history. Now that the fallout and dust of a heated debate has settled, we're bringing on Mayor Anderson to discuss his plans for the city for years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Jack Anderson. Thank you, thank you, stop. I love you too, thank you. Oh my, you know, it is great to be back. It's been too long, uh, my old friend. <laughs> I've literally never interacted with you ever, and um, as I was told by your intern, uh, nobody's supposed to speak directly to you unless otherwise noted. You know what? You have always been a jokester. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I was a bit of a diva back then. You know, TV can do that to you. Anyways... How's the body doing? I heard you were in a little accident. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was uh, two months ago. It was it was pretty bad. But as I was telling the audience, uh, the driver... You know what? Actually, I don't care. I don't care about you or anything you have to say. Listen here, folks. You've got a new man running East Lansing. And that means there's going to be some changes around these parts. First up, a border wall to divide us from Lansing. For too long has Lansingans seeped their way into our East Lansing way of life. Well, I say no more. So I'm building a wall, and it will be where US-127 is. But don't worry. This wall is being completely funded by the taxes you already pay. Wow, that's that's pretty quick. I, I feel like you haven't had enough time to uh, pull on any permit. Okay, okay hey, uh, you know, never interrupt your guest, all right? Very bad hosting on your part. That brings up topic two, taxes. The current tax wedge in East Lansing is at 6%, and that's way too low to fund the building of a border wall, so I'm upping that to 32%. Now, that won't cover all the costs of the wall being built, but it should cover the cost of the materials. I'm banking on all the citizens supporting and complying with mandatory labor on building the wall. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mandatory labor? That's insane. Okay, again with the interrupting. You know, where'd you get this guy? Craigslist? <laughs> Anyways, yes, to answer your question, mandatory labor. Uh, oh, and I was also told to mention that lunch will not be provided. Uh, there will be one communal hose to drink water from, uh, and there will be a Hungry Howie's pizza party when the wall is complete to celebrate, uh, but limited to one slice per laborer, so bringing snacks from home is, is encouraged, you know. You seem a little baffled by all this, Miles. It's Kyle. I don't care. Well, I just don't see the logistics of this plan. You just can't, like, make people work. Of course I can. I'm 
the mayor now. Uh, people have to do what I say. I don't think that's true. You know, you better watch your tone. My new law enforcement regime runs on a strict three-strike policy, and uh, you just got strike number one, buddy. Oh, well, um, I, I hope I will comply. Uh, so, Mr. Anderson. Please, uh, call me Mayor Anderson the Ironhearted. I am, n I'm not doing that. <laughs> Fine, I guess, you know, if you wanted to get another strike, I suppose. Oh, hey, come on, no, no, not another strike. Can I just call you Mr. Mayor? Fine, I'll allow it. Okay, good. Um, so, Mr. Mayor, many citizens are uh, big on environmental conservation and sustainable energy. What plans do you have in regards to that? You know what, I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? Because I don't want to talk about that. What I do want to talk about is phase two of what I'm calling the Jack Attack, all right? So once the first wall is built, we immediately go west to start the construction of a wall to separate us from Okamos. Another wall. Yes, all right? Now please, shut up, okay? We're going to need more funds, so by the year 2027, I will be upping the tax percentage by, let's say, 13 points. Uh, so that brings us to a tax wedge of 45%. And I might have to pull some strings, maybe up the taxes a bit again from there. But there are early talks of us maybe being able to Taco Bell, uh, get Taco Bell to cater three lunches for us. Bullshit. Pardon me? Bullshit. Who dares speak ill of the mayor? I shall have your head, uh, metaphorically speaking, of course. I haven't pushed through the legislation yet for public executions. It's a big thing. Uh, show yourself, coward. I am sick and tired of listening to this guy talk. I've done it for the past two years and it's been terrible. I, I've learned to trust a, not one thing to come out of this guy's mouth. It's just all lies. Well, well, well. Look who it is. My former employer, my nemesis, Reed Packin of the Beaumont Bulletin. Mayor Anderson, the Iron Hearted. Psh. More like Jack Anderson, the stupidly bearded. Hey, you know, you can't say that. Okay, everyone, let's just all calm down and- Shut up, Lyle. It's Kyle. I do not care. You know what? That's strike two, buddy, all right? <laughs> yeah, Kyle, uh, just shut up. The only reason you're here anyways is because I hit you with my news van. That was you? Yeah, but shut up. I'm coming over there. So, boss, uh, seems as though you've got some personal problems with the mayor. Uh, what might that be? Okay. First off, don't talk to me like I'm one of your little interviewees or anything. I'm your boss. Show me some damn respect. But yeah, I got some issues here with Jack. He's a liar and a dirtbag. Okay, prove it. <laughs> he's addicted to pills. He screams at PAs. And he's got terrible anger issues. So do you. Yeah, but I'm also the producer, so I'm allowed to do what I want. You know, okay, you know what, everyone? I know why he's mad, all right? He's mad because I was his best talent and I left. I left without putting my two weeks notice, so he had to scramble to find a new host who is way inferior. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here. I could do better. In fact, I did do Hello? better. You know what? Somebody pull up a headline, I'll go from camera three, all right? The Detroit Red Wings had a big chance of making the NHL playoffs this year. After sending the game to overtime and winning, all the Red Wings needed was for the Philadelphia Flyers to tie, making this the second worst thing to come out of Pennsylvania since Jerry Sandusky. Boom! See? Not hard at all. I never, I literally never said it was. Yeah, you think I'm mad you left, Jack? Like you're some big hot shot talker out of your mouth or something? Jesus. The, the words that you say and how you say them, it's because of me and my staff of writers. That's ridiculous. <laughs> really? You're doing it right now. What? Come on now. I am in complete... I'm completely in charge of my own words and thoughts. What the freak? Yeah. See? You would be nothing without me. But, but you're doing the same thing right now. <laughs> Come on. That is a ridiculous thing to say. By God. We have no original thoughts. We just say and do what the prompter tells us. We are fools. Stupid. Stupid fools.
Life is meaningless. Well, it seems as though our two guests are in the midst of an existential crisis and maybe need some time to reflect You know what? On. Hang on. You know, I know we just uncovered some really heavy shit, but there is one thing that gives life meaning. This Kyle guy. I hate him. Yeah, me too. And honestly, I hate this entire show. <laughs> me too. You know, when I was originally elected, my one promise was to take this show off the air. Would you... Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe want to help me? Oh. My. God. <laughs> yes. Come on, I have access to all the servers and, uh, and the, all the backup archives. Let's go purge this show. Let's do it. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Yeah. Yippee. Well, I'm just glad that he finally got my name right. But I think this would be a good time for a little bit of a commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. Available now for home video, it's the Beaumont Bulletin Season 12 DVD box set. Never wait for untimely episode release dates again. Binge watch them all at once. Relive all the classic moments from your favorite legitimate news broadcast. Endless hours of content of riveting interviews. The legend lives on from the Chippewa Yard. Frontline investigative journalism. The atmosphere is electric, and this is the most enthusiastic kind of. Come on! Come on! Someone find a curb! Someone find a curb! And episode after episode of inconsistent color correction quality. For the first time, viewers get to experience old episodes in our new Beaumont Vision. Watch as old episodes are transformed into being 50% darker and having heavier shadows just as the producers intended. Gather your friends and family for the Beaumont Bulletin sing-along karaoke feature with this classic hit. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. Also included is a never-before-seen episode that was shelved due to technical issues. But don't worry, through the power of AI and facial tracking mechanics, the best Beaumont engineers were able to artificially dub over this lost episode. Hi, it's me, Jack Stedrin, and I'm on the news. Beaumont bu bu Bulletin, Beaumont Bulletin, and we're doing the news. Uh, welcome to the, to the, oh, uh, I think I'm, I messed that up. Could we, let's get another take real quick, guys. And that's not all. Call within the next 10 minutes to receive one of three special Beaumont collector's items with your purchase. A limited edition Jack Anderson mint coin, a commemorative t-shirt, or a piece of season 11 memorabilia, a copy of the Moon Man's Flat Earth Disc. So don't wait. Call today to show your support for America's premier news program that the Lansing State Journal calls inherently and overtly laughable. Call 719-266-2837. That's 719-266-2837 today. And welcome back. Jack and Reed have been gleefully smashing the servers, and it's only a matter of time before we go off the air. Until then, we've got some more news. East Lansing and MSU were under a tornado warning last week. Although the campus sustained no noticeable damage, the high winds did manage to blow all of the construction cones from everywhere in town to everywhere else in town. NPR has suspended a veteran editor for writing a personal piece critiquing his boss for his, quote, unquestioned liberal views. For raising his voice slightly at his employers, he has been hailed the most crazy, hot-headed, screaming maniac in NPR history. I am getting word of a surprise news story coming in right now. Kyle, scandal has struck East Lansing this afternoon as phone calls with current mayor Jack Anderson have been leaked. The Beaumont Bulletin takes pride in being the first news program to release these tapes. Let's listen in now. Hello? Carl's Clothes Warehouse? Yes? Is this Carl? What? Carl. Of Carl's Clothes Warehouse. 
No. Well, I just assumed since I was calling Carl's Clothes Warehouse. You know what? Doesn't matter. I just need my mayoral pants tailored. I stretched them out a little and ripped a small hole in them while I was smashing computer servers with an old buddy of mine. Sir, I don't care about the backstory. Just tell me the alterations you need. Okay, relax. I just want the hole repaired. But you know what? Since I'm going through alterations, I might as well go all out. I'd like below the knee to be tapered in real tight, like skin tight. Then I want the inner thigh and groin area super airy and baggy. So... Parachute pants. Yes, exactly. But then I want the waistline adjusted to be higher, around to about my sternum, and make those pockets extra deep. Extra deep. Got it. Then I would like you to add on cargo pockets on the sides. Three on each side. Okay. And one more cargo right in the front, groinish stomach area. Like a built-in fanny pack? Exactly like a built-in fanny pack. All right, that total should come out to about $350, sir. Whew. I'm going to have to move the city budget around a little, but I'll make it work. I'll have my assistant drop it off tomorrow. It is a dark day here in East Lansing. With no light of hope, corruption runs deep in the soil, an infection that will linger for years to come. Chick Higsby, breaking news reporter, the Beaumont Bulletin. I think this might be a little too overdramatic reporting. The man was just altering his pants. I don't think we should judge a person by the pants they want to wear. And also, I don't think it's corrupt to take some of the city's budget for clothing repairs. There is some allocated money dedicated to living and day-to-day -day expenses for the mayor. Anyways, uh, oh, I'm getting a word that there is a follow-up story. Kyle, you know, I heard everything you just said about me, and all I gotta say is, you're a real jerk, man, you know that? I really don't regret telling our producer to reverse back over you after hitting you with the news van. But since you want something to be dramatic about, how about you listen to this scandalous phone call with our mayor? Hello? Hey, Victor, my good pal, who is also my bookie. Hey, Jackie boy of the Beaumont Bulletin. Oh, I, I mean, Mayor Anderson the Ironhearted. Hey, my guy. So what's up, buddy? Here's the sitch. I gotta get my pants altered, and I already burned through the money allocated to me for living and day-to-day -day expenses, so I gotta pull it out of the city budget. But here's the thing, all right? Nobody can know. Right, right. Racketeering, standard stuff. So, uh, what do you need from me? Well, I gotta cover the cost of these pants, so I was thinking I might make a bet. Now you're speaking my language. So here's what I need you to do for me. Go down to the casino, go to roulette, and put some money down on red. Jack, I'm already at the casino. I practically live here. What's the wager? Hmm, let's see. What about the education budget? Okay, perfect. Education budget on red. All right, it's spinning. Come on, red. Come on, red. Still spinning, still spinning. And black. All right, you know what? Double or nothing. Roads and healthcare on red. All right, it's spinning. On red. Black again. Yeah. So what do you think about that, Kyle? Still don't think we should be over dramatic? Huh. Back to you, scumbag. Oh my God. Yeah, that was that was that was way worse. He just bet away all of our money for education, roads, healthcare. All at the casino. That's awful. And he's still here just running around the building? Why doesn't anyone stop him? The city's gonna be ruined. The, the station's gonna be ruined. There's only one thing I can do. I must repeatedly get hit by news vans, cars, catabuses, trains, space shuttles, whatever it takes until I get enough promotions to become mayor and save this city. I'm Kyle Watts New. And this has been the Beaumont Bulletin.